Hi, right, Jerome right here again with another video. Okay, I'm referencing my discoveries that um, there is an ancient blueprint um, referencing how mankind was created, and there are artists that are very aware of this blueprint and are referencing these images of how mankind was created in their paintings. Okay, in this case here, I have a uh, um, a piece of artwork, a copy of an artwork by Salvador Dali, okay, who I've actually tied to Disney, to the Vatican, and to other um, famous people of our world who are linked to this celestial alien knowledge which evolved from space. Now, I know it sounds far fetched, people and all, but I mean, these artists' artworks are all saying the same thing. And no matter who artwork that we pull up, I can do the same thing with. Now, in doing this, I'm going to show you something here in Salvador Dali. This is this 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 image. You can Google the image yourself. It's titled um, "The Discovery of America." Okay, "The Discovery of America." And this was supposed to have been, had been done by Christopher Columbus. Now, I mean, people, it makes you wonder what in the hell is going on here. You know what I mean? But anyway, here's Salvador Dali's "Discovery of America." Look how odd this image looks, people. You see a bunch of crosses, tall crosses. Look at these images, like Christian references, the whole line. Now, let me show you the underlying message, people. There's an underlying message. First of all, then I'm, I'm going to bring up another image, too. First of all, um, look at this object right here. That looks like a seed, and it has a hole in it right there at the bottom. It's right here. I'm going to show you that the same image... This is Salvador's outward too. Is right here. Okay. Now I'm gonna keep going for a minute. Okay, because I don't want to lose time. These videos are only could be 15 minutes long, so I'm gonna keep going. Here's the boat landing on America. Look in the sail of the boat right here. Okay, you can Google the image and see it for yourself. There's the body of a whale right here, people. Right there. There's the eye. There's the open mouth. And there's the body. And what creates the body is the discoloration from this part portion of the cell to that. And it creates the body of the whale. Now, at the head of the whale, people, look at this. If I can bring that in a little bit closer. What do you see there? You see that reptilian? Look at the reptilian. Look at the definition, people. Look at the antennae like coming out of the reptilian's head. Look at that. Look at this, people. And go on and hook to the mouth of the whale. Then check this out, people. Well, reptilian. And look at it showing you man right there. Well, reptilian. Well. Now I'm going to go back a little bit. Come up here. Encrypted. There's a shark. And then there's a witch like woman. Who I dub as the mother of creation. Look at that, people. Shark. There's woman. Witch like woman. Now check this out. I'm going to come back again. Up here. That same looking reptilian being that is here. Is up here. Look at the antennae. Look at the antennae. And then it has a cross in its mouth. You know what that means people? I'm the first one that ever tell you that the cross represents the cross referencing of genetics. From space onto our world. Now how do I know that? Not just from Salvador Dali's um, painting um, of America, um, um, Discovery of America, of course. But look how these crosses are larger, extending from our world up into space, at the dark area of space. Look at that. And then they're turned in all directions. You see this, people? It's cross-referencing of genetics from space unto our world. And this is, Dali knows this, and Dali has depicted that. Even in this mass right here. Which this is a celestial mass from space. It actually shows the faces of these beings that are created in a cocktail in nebula matter, which I have discovered and I put videos here. In my, I have 40 plus videos here, and each one of my detail, the, uh, videos details similar findings. These beings evolved from our space in intelligent life forms and evolved through the waters of our planets, which all of this is showing. And sophisticated, and in a sophisticated way, that mankind was created. Now, this didn't just happen um, um, 
happened just on our world. This has happened before people. This knowledge has happened before. I mean, this, this these creations have happened before. And it shows you. I know where there's being shown at, where we can go in space, where we came from in space. It is all detailed, people. It's referenced in our world, and it's referenced right in space. And I can read it all. I can show it to you. And I'm sure you hear the level of confidence in my voice. I would not be sitting here talking to you if I, if I did not. Um, look over here. You have the image of the shark here in the corner coming out. Look what's coming out of his mouth, people, right here. Oh, I'm behind there. Look what's coming out of his mouth. Look at that. Showing you the shark genetically hooked to this cross right here. Okay, look at the object coming out, hooked around the cross. And look how it shows you how the cross goes up. And these cross references are being made. And then look down at the other end. Look at man. Look at these arms coming out, holding on to the cross. It shows you at different levels and stages, people, that cross-referencing of genetics, of our genetics, were actually manipulated. Okay? And look at what's at the center of this Christianity. I'm accusing the Vatican and their Vatican City in Rome of being the cross-referencing center of these alien celestial beings. And this is what Christianity is all about. Now, I'm going to go to something else to Salvador Dali's. Here's Salvador Dali's image of the Madonna. Every piece of Dali's artwork is dedicated to this. This, um, this baby is on that, the foot of an ape. How do I know that? Because I know how to read this. Okay, the baby has a cross in his hand. Shows you that there was a cross reference in me with what? With reptilian. You know how I know that? Because the mother of creation is right here, and the shadow of the cross in the baby's hand is reflected that in the in the, in the uh, witch's like woman's face. Now look how the arm comes out of Madonna comes out of the witch like woman's face into her hands. Now let me show you something. What it looks like when it's actually drawn up for you people of what is actually there. I can see this and bring it to you to see. Look at that. Look at that. See the cross there at the mouth? See the cross there? This is the, this represents the ancient genetics, the founding genetics. You know what that is? Ape, black man, Africa, the whole nine. It's just not reflected in the image because there are those that know what this means just by seeing that just like I do like I'm telling you what it means this is where all man originated from and that is a footprint of an ape and it shows you the baby is on there and it shows you the manipulations of these building blocks that actually called for this baby being created and that's what this is all about a historical moment in time where there was a genetic virgin that created this child okay the same thing with Jesus and all the whole lot again Another one of Salvador's Dali's thing. Oh, and this this celestial seed right here is what this is all about with the hole in it. Again, the same exact thing. Salvador D Dali. The same exact thing. Let you know there was a genetic manipulation that came from space and mankind was created. This man has his head down. Now check this out. Look at the face and the genetics of the black man shown. Stop. Look, right there. See the face, see the beard, see the lips. Can you see that? Am I? Let me see that. All of these artworks, people. Look at that. Let me bring that in for you so you can see the definition of that. See the beard, see the lips, okay? It would be I. It lets you know that there was a phasing out of one genetic to create another. Another one of Salvador and Stally's artworks. I'm gonna keep it I'm gonna keep it moving because I only have a few minutes here and, it's, and it keeps going. Alright. This here, I don't even have do I have the name of this one? I don't have the name of it on there. Okay, this is Salvador Dali's artwork too. I don't have the name on here, so I can't you're gonna have to Google just Google Salvador Dali and all of these images will come up. <sighs> Oh gosh, this is folded back. Okay, check this out because I'm, I'm running out of time. This branch, this tree represents the old genetics, that of the ape. 
shows you a branching of those genetics. This represents the genetics of the black man. Okay? This represents, this snail represents obviously the reptilian. Okay? And it shows you a genetic, um, um, there was a, um, a genetic manipulation. Check it out. And the, the resulting um, genetics from that was spliced by the razor. And look, it shows you two forms of genetics that was actually sent off of that. It shows your manipulation. Okay, now check this out. Daly knew of Hitler's experiments. Based on this finding of Daly's, I knew that Daly knew that what Hitler was doing. The Enigma of Hitler, his painting, The Enigma of Hitler. The same exact painting. Look, this was Daly's biggest flaw in his artworks is that he would use his greatest finds in one image to, to suggest a message in multiple different times. Now check this out. The tree shows how Hitler tapped into the same exact experiments and stuff. And, and look, and shows you how these experiments and what Hitler was doing. Based on what Hitler was doing, I can tell you what experiments and what genetics Hitler was using and his experiments to build or create his ultimate so-called race. Daly knew of it. Daly knew what Hitler what experiments were. And it's all referenced right there. Okay? I know exactly what this means. Now, do I have anything else here? Oh yeah. Daly's other image, I'm gonna have to keep going here. Uh, what is the name of this? A Geolopticus, child watching the birth of of man. Okay, Geolopticus, the child birth um, um, the ch um Geolopticus, okay, the child watching the birth of man. The reason why this image is up here is because, well, basically it shows you how life actually was created. I'm not going to go into detail because I don't have much time here. What I want to draw your attention to is this: when you go with God, this image, there's a reptilian right there at the crotch area of this strange looking being, a reptilian. Letting you know that this is reptilian bloodline. The genetics from this being is dominated by reptilian. Letting you know that this is the reptilian bloodline. Now, the thing that I have about this is that the same, I'm gonna bring this in closer so you can see this. And uh, see if you can see that right. Right there at the crotch area, you'll see the the reptilian like being right there at the crotch. Can you see that? I know I'm moving around. Oh, that there good enough. Okay, now I'm gonna move away because I only have two minutes left. <clears throat> Here in this image, there is the head of a dinosaur at the crotch area. Adam and Eve. And this is oh gosh, I, not by Titan. It, it escapes me at this time because I didn't Oh, I forgot who made this. But anyway, Google um, Adam and Eve images, and this image will pop up. Just go Adam and Eve, Google Adam and Eve, and you'll find this image. At the crotch area of Adam, you'll see a reptile. Letting you know that, and I drawed it out for you, letting you know that these are reptilian genetics that are being feathered, and this is what this is all about. Okay, now, and you see my other, I have this I have this up also, Adam and Eve, and that I'm not going to go into explaining these other English, um I'm, I'm highlights that I made because I got a video out on that already. I got to keep going here because I'm running out of minutes. Okay. Um, Adam and, um, not Adam and Eve. Dally has a Pope here in this image with a bunch of flying dildos. Letting you know, and this dildo with sperm running out of it. Letting you know that there was a manipulation process is at what point. The same thing with chastise, a woman being chastised by her own chastise or something, being sodomized by her own chastise. Genetic bridging. Look how the rail was broken, wrapped around. Shows you at what point these genetics were manipulated, okay, and what genetics were actually changed. And look, in the shadows of the matter up in the clouds, there are faces showing you the dildo in the clouds, and it shows you what transpired. All of Dowley's paintings can be read. Now, the thing about these dildos and these genetic bridges showing you that the rail was broken, where it was put back together, the whole line at one point, is 
suggested in this with Dali and the Pope. Now, the Dali has a lot of paintings out which reference historical biblical moments. How in the world was this man able to get away with this? Now, what is the name of this image here? Um, Bus Valador. Oh, I gotta go, people. I'm sorry, I gotta stop this video. It's it. It's the end. I'm gonna have to make another. Go on.